All right, family, so let's get right into the video. So this is what our old master bedroom used to look like. You guys know that we ordered our furniture months and months ago, but because of everything that's happening, shipping was delayed and everything basically shut down, which is fine because we have just been managing with what we already have. But as you can see here, a lot of the pieces have finally started to fall apart, so we definitely needed an upgrade. So in the previous video, you guys saw that we moved and cleaned everything out of the room. It was completely emptied out. And then we finally started to get our pieces in. So first we got the beautiful headboard. And then we got the two nightstands. And then we got the dresser. So this is a pretty large room, but it seems like it's a little small because these are actually king size pieces. So definitely family, if you're looking into buying furniture, make sure to measure your room because the furniture can look normal at the store, but then you get it home and it fills up the entire room. But anyway, in the previous video, you saw that we put the bed together. We added this beautiful, super large rug underneath the bed, just for the aesthetics, nothing really important. <laughs> we did also end up mounting our TV to the wall and it looks super nice, no cord whatsoever, which I'm super happy about. And then we added the box springs, we added the mattress, and we were super excited and relieved to be finally done and also to finally have our pieces. And this is where we last left off. So now let's get into designing. All right, family, so we are going to start off with the curtains here. As you can see in my Kevin Hart voice, the way our bedroom is set up, <laughs> you can kind of see the entire outside from our bedroom windows, especially when the blinds are open. So we need to fix that. So first thing first, I'm going to cover the windows with this beautiful curtain. And by the way, family, I'm not going to put all the details about where I got everything in this video, but I do plan on doing a detailed room tour to show you guys everything and also to tell you guys where I got everything from. So do stick around for that. In this video, what we're going to be doing is just setting everything up from start to finish as we usually do. So this is what the curtain looks like, family. It looks really nice. As I said, the detail on this is really pretty. All right, family. So we are going to move on to the side mirrors. I like to add mirrors above the nightstands because not only do they open up the space, they also reflect the light from the lamps in front of them, which also makes the room feel warm and brighter. So I did have Nandy do the pre-measurements and he's just going to help me put them up. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put this beautiful piece above the headboard. This piece is actually the inspiration for the entire room. So everything in this room is going to go by this piece. I usually like to stick with only three colors when it comes to designing a room. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with the three colors that you see in this canvas. So what we have here is a little bit of gray, like a little bit of dark gray and a little bit of light gray. We also have some sparkle, some gold sparkle, and then we have a little bit of white. So that again is the inspiration for the entire room. So now that our piece is up, I'm just going to go ahead and clean the mirrors. As you can see, we have a whole lot of fingerprints from when we had to put the mirrors up. So I'm just using the good old Windex to clean them off. You guys know that I like to stick on the neutral side when it comes to home decor, just because I feel like it's easier to change up. So I can throw a little bit of red in there when I want. I can throw a little bit of blue. I can throw any color in there without overpowering or messing anything up. So definitely starting with a blank canvas or a neutral palette is a great idea. All right, so next we are moving on to the TV dresser area. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the TV because it does have a lot of fingerprints from when they had to move it and put it up. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clean the dresser a little bit. 
and then I'm going to start the design process on this side of the room. So I don't want to overpower this place with decor just because it's the TV area and the TV, especially when it's on, can be a little distracting because you have different colors and different things going on. So I'm just going to put a few things here. So I'm just putting this beautiful vase with some beautiful pompous grass. I'm going to add this tray with my perfumes and then I'm going to add a few candles and that's it. Nice and clean. Alright, so we are going to move on to the bed. To be honest you guys, this is the hardest part but it's also my favorite part because as they say, the bed is the heart of the bedroom. So I have this beautiful sheet set that I'm going to be putting on the bed. This is an off-white set and I think it has about four pieces. So the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and two pillowcases. And if I haven't said this before, this by the way is a king size bed. So everything has to be king size. And I don't know if you guys know this, but king size pieces are definitely more expensive than queen size. From the bed, the dresser, the nightstands, the pillowcases, the sheets, the blankets, everything is more expensive. So yes, keep that in mind as well. So I did get two king size pillowcases because our previous queen size was a little too small for the bed. So all I'm doing here is putting the pillow in the pillowcases and basically setting up the bed. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our fancy bed set. So this is also three pieces. I was looking for something neutral, but also something that matches the bed. And family, this is perfect. This was literally made for the bed. <laughs> As you can see here, it has the off-white, it has a little bit of silver, and it also has all the colors of the bed, which are only two colors. If you guys want me to make a detailed video on how to make your bed or your entire bedroom look like a luxury hotel, then leave a comment down below. Comment luxury bedroom. If I see that a lot of you guys want to see that, I will make, like I said, a detailed video showing you guys exactly how you can take your current bedroom and transform it to a beautiful luxury hotel look. All right, so since our king size pillows are on, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add the accent pillows. So these pillows are super pretty as you can see here. They have some beautiful sparkle and some gray in them. I'm just gonna go ahead and add this beautiful throw blanket. I have to show you guys all of this in detail, y'all, but this is what the bed looks like. So I did end up going with four accent pillows. So we have three great ones. Two of them match and the one in the middle is slightly different. And I also have a white one with some pearls and beads on it. It turned out super pretty and you can see that the bedroom is starting to come together. Alright family, so we are going to move on to the nightstands. So what is a nightstand without lamps, right? <laughs> so these lampshades I actually got separate from the lamps themselves and like I said before, I'm going to give you guys the details about everything in another video, but I decided to go with white lampshades and beautiful large gold lamps. Again, as you can see from our wall art, we have some beautiful gold sparkles in there, so I just wanted to bring that out in our lamps. I also wanted to go with white lampshades because as you can see here, the lighting is white and bright, but it's also calming and there's no yellow tint to it. So I just went ahead and did that to both nightstands. So now we are going to move on to this wall. I actually forgot to film when we put this mirror up, but yes, we did add another mirror to this space just to brighten up and also open up the space a little more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it off here. 
I did end up adding this chair here at the end of the bed. I added this beautiful throw blanket from downstairs and I also added this table and the vase to complete the look. And then on this wall, I ended up adding these two beautiful wall art. So you guys know that I never finish a room tour or a clean with me or decorate with me video without some fireplace on the TV. So here we go. <laughs> So family, this is finally our master bedroom. Saying that I'm in love with this is an understatement. You guys know that once again, we waited a long time for this. We just had our old pieces and I didn't want to rush into it because I don't know if you guys know this. Home decor can be very, very expensive, especially when you go from a small apartment to a large home that can be kind of expensive and if you're anything like me it can take a long time because i don't know if i told you guys this but i'm kind of indecisive when it comes to my home decor i like to switch things up i like to change things up i like to move things the only thing i don't move are the larger pieces but anything that is an accent piece or accessory i do tend to move around just to spruce up the place a little bit and also to give it a different look all right, family, that is it for the master bedroom transformation, y'all. I am absolutely in love. Our bedroom literally looks like a luxury hotel room. And that is exactly the look I was going for. Please go ahead and smash that like button. If you haven't already joined the family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss another one of our video. Also, family, if you don't follow me on Instagram already, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you'll never miss my updates announcements and frequent posts thank you guys so so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye